Today on the Sugar Apron, I'm showing you how to make a classic, simple, homemade eggnog that is going to be perfect for the holidays. We love a good, thick and creamy eggnog, and then we also love a lot of good spice, so we've got plenty of nutmeg that we're gonna include. It's super easy to make, and I want to show you how to make it step by step. You crack your egg right in the center, and you're going to pull it apart with your thumbs. You just let the egg white drip into the bowl, and you transfer it back and forth, from side to side, letting all the egg white fall into the bowl, until all you're left with is the egg yolk plop it right in there. Now you're gonna go ahead and separate out 6 egg yolks, and add half cup, or 100 grams of granulated sugar. Now with electric beaters or just a whisk, begin whipping your egg yolks together, just until they start to turn a little bit lighter in color. It should take 6 to 8 minutes. Little bit mix mix mix, it should look a little thicker, and nice and creamy almost like a meringue. But that's totally fine, that's what you want. We're gonna set these aside, while we heat up our milk and cream on the stove. So you want to start with a moderately large pot. You're gonna fill that with 2 cups of whole milk, and a cup of heavy cream. We've got plenty of nutmeg and a little salt. Place it over medium heat and bring it up to a steamy heat, no boiling or simmering. Now what we're gonna do is temper the egg yolks. Tempering the egg yolks just simply means that I'm going to slowly drizzle the hot milk mixture into the eggs while whisking. This is gonna help bring the eggs up to temperature, fairly slowly without scrambling the eggs. And by the way if this process looks familiar to you, this is the same process of how to make homemade pudding, just a couple of ingredients. Now, you do have some eggnog recipes that are going to be raw, but I'm not gonna be doing a non-cooked version, because I don't think a lot of people will be comfortable with that. But there are some out there, and all you have to do is Google them. Now that the egg mixture is all brought up to temperature, we can go ahead and pour it back into the skillet where our remaining milk mixture is. And just whisk it in, to make sure everything is well incorporated. What we're gonna do is, heat this up to 160 degrees. You can notice that I'm not bringing things up to a rapid boil, I'm just sitting there and letting this simmer over medium, medium-low heat. It'll come up to temperature just fine. Mine is actually gonna reach over 160. After this, everything is up to your taste. I ended up adding some vanilla extract. It's still fairly thin right now, but as it cools it will thicken and become extra rich and creamy and so delicious. You can pour it into a container and let it cool. Now is the time to add your add-ins, and when I say add-ins, I mean, you know, your bourbon and your rum and stuff like that. Once your egg whites are warm, you're just going to mix those for a second to loosen them up. Then you're just going to gradually add your powdered sugar while mixing on medium speed. Once you've added all your powdered sugar, then you'll mix on medium to high speed for about 3 to 5 minutes, or until it hits stiff peaks or the consistency you like. Okay, I ended up only whipping mine for about 3 minutes. And this is what the consistency looks like. This is the texture, it's pretty thick.
Okay, once everything's cooled off you've got a thick creamy and delicious eggnog. It's so easy to make. And then we also love homemade whipped cream and ground cinnamon. It is such a good combination, you have to try it. If you enjoyed this video, where you learned something too, leave a like, subscribe and I will see you next time.